Do I'll pause us here again. This is a video tutorial on how to use Texture Studio. Uh, so let's get started with that. And you can see if you type T help, that'll give you a basic command list. Uh, so we're going to start by uh, creating a new map, slash new map. And um, we're going to call this desert map. Now, I do have this map already built, so just say, just say you'd built your map, and now you want to bring it into Texture Studio to edit. You would need to have uh, your map in Create Object or Create Dynamic Object format. It's pretty simple. Uh, you can take a look in the Script Files folder, and you'll be able to find that file and uh, see what the import is expecting. So I'm just going to import the map right now and you can see it comes up with desertmap.txt so we'll just load that and it imported 160 objects so let's go take a look at the map we uh, can we can go into fly mode now this has a feature to go to any object on the map but you have to have your object selected so let's just uh, select object 1 and we'll go to that with O go to so here we go. Now we're on the on this map, and you can see it has uh, all the objects labeled, and uh, we can select any one of these objects to edit. So uh, let me just come out of fly mode, and we'll uh, try some stuff here. All right then. So I guess we'll start with these. Uh, big mountains. I know one of the object IDs is, or the index is already 5, so I'm just going to select that. So we have 5 selected now. So we want to find a texture to texture these mountains. So we can type M textures, and that will bring up this, this list here. And uh, we'll just scroll backwards to see if we can find something interesting. Um... Let's try Let's try this. So that's 8082. So we may have to try a different a couple of materials here to find out which ones are showing, but it shouldn't take us long. Let's do that now. So we can do uh MT set all and this will set all materials, which is pretty useful. So we can set, and uh, oh yeah, our index here is 8082. So let's try that. Okay, well, it looks like nothing happens. So there's probably nothing on that material. It shouldn't matter. You can just leave it already set. Nothing on one, two. Oh, there we go. So we have two and three. Let's check four, no, five. Okay, so there we go. So those have just, we've just textured those mountains using uh, the texture all command. So now just say we want to do this house here, no problem. We'll just do a C cell. This will bring up, bring up the mouse cursor that you can select the house with, just click it. So now we've selected this object for editing. Just press escape. And now we can go back to our list here and find a material we like. Let's try this brick. It's empty, empty set 0, and our index is 8085. So now we've just changed this house around to have that brick. Okay, well, say we don't really like that one. Let's give it, let's try a few others. Let's see here. Okay, here's another brick texture. This one's 8027, so... Let's try it out to see how it looks. Okay, so we like that one better. Uh, let's see what some of these other materials are in here. So we'll just set one. So that's the siding for one. So, okay, so let's find something for that. Uh, <clears throat> let's try this one. Okay, 
Okay, so now the siding set. Let's see what material two is. Okay, that would be the roof. Um, I guess that texture can work. Let's try three. That appears to be the windows. So maybe we'll leave the windows alone. We can just go three zero, and that'll automatically put the windows back if uh, if you select uh, material cell or the material index zero rather. So that's that part. Um, we can also edit this object. Say we want to move it around. We can do edit mode. And you can see the object moves up and down. Any way you want to move it. Say uh, you don't like how you moved it, just push escape and it'll automatically put the object back to where it belongs. So um, <clears throat> there's some other interesting features here. Say we wanted to rotate this whole map on an angle. Well, we can do that with pretty quickly with just uh, one command. We can use just say DRX. This will rotate the map on the uh, on the x-axis, and let's rotate it 10 degrees. So you can see now it's rotated the whole map 10 degrees. Uh, all the objects are still aligned up with the ground and uh, you can actually rotate this on any other angle you want to you can go r way 10 I'm actually under the map now so it's not it's not messed up I'll just do fly mode and we can get out So that can be a very useful command if you want to uh, change your, the orientation of your map. You can also use uh, movement features, and those are, just say DOX, this will move it along the x-axis, let's move it one meter. So that's moved the whole map one meter. And that's pretty useful too, you can move your map around anywhere you like pretty quickly. Um, so there's another another feature I'd like to show quickly, and that's the text editor. Now this is I was I wanted to have this to do uh, all the material cells, but I decided just to do the first one because you almost always just use a plane anyways when doing text. So I thought it'd be kind of a waste of my time to go to that extent. Anyways, um, let me just get a plane object. You can actually search up objects by going, uh, what is the command? Well, let's take a look. I can't even remember. Well, maybe I forgot to put it in. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay, so it's O search. I, I just forgot to put it in there. No problem. So let's just search up for a plane. It shows us all the plane objects that are known. And uh, we'll just choose plane 04. Create the object, cobject. And 19478. So now we have this plane here. Now, at first you can't see anything, but if we type text, this will bring up the text editor. So. Let's turn text on. We'll just put the text to test. Uh, we'll change these after font color. Now this expects a hex value, and it's in uh, a a r g b format. And uh, all that means is that your alpha comes first before your color. It's pretty simple. So we'll just set it to red. So you can see here. You can see that it's already come up with the text. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. It's pretty small right now. So, well, let's let's make it a bit bigger. By increasing this, it'll change the resolution. So now it's in a fairly higher res. We can change the text size. Let's try 100. That's still kind of small. Let's try 150. So that's too big. 
tubes. Good enough. Uh, center it. Let's turn on the back color. And we'll give this... I think that's yellow. Yeah, yellow. Dark yellow. And uh, you can turn on bold. You can play around with all these settings. Change the, the font. And that's pretty much it for Texture Studio. So uh, if you want to export this map, you can just do... Um, what is it again? All right. Okay, export map. And it'll just ask for a name. We'll just call this Desert. And it'll ask you for the draw distance. We'll just give it 300.0. And uh, we'll just use the type one, normal create object. So now it's exported the map out to uh, desert map. You can use that map in your scripts. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If there's any questions, just ask in in the topic thread of Texture Studio. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this and can make some more interesting maps than the kind of stuff that we typically see.